Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. This video is going to show you my number one market research tool. It's completely free. And here in a second, I'm going to jump on the computer. You're going to follow along. I'm going to show you exactly how to do market research with this tool. Before that, it's important to cover why is market research so important? You know, one of the biggest reasons for failure that I see with uh, new entrepreneurs and new digital marketers is they're not doing the research and they're creating things that no one actually wants. And a little bit of research before choosing your niche or creating your opt-in or creating your courses will give you a clear picture of whether or not your audience is interested in that thing you want to go build. A lot of people spend months, if not years, building things that they have no data on that their audience wants and then there comes that terrible moment when they launch it to the world and nobody wants what they have and they just realize they wasted a year. So I want to save you from that. Now, we don't need any paid ads to do this. You don't need to buy a fancy $2,000 product to teach you how to do market research. I bought one for two grand. It was terrible. I refunded it. You just got to use this one tool. What's the tool? It's actually amazon.com. And the fact that Amazon has created not only a search engine based around products, right? It's kind of an e-commerce store that runs on a search engine, but there is this massive Massive amount of reviews built up inside of Amazon. You can leverage those reviews to get ideas of what other products are missing, of what is the kind of open space within your market, what the purchasers of other products, your competitors' products, didn't like about those products and what they loved about those products. So from surveying all of this information from 100% free, just kind of digging in, doing the research, you're really able to get a good understanding of what works and what doesn't work and what's missing from those other products in the marketplace. These tidbits of information can be leveraged for opt-in reports, for your sales copy, for headlines, for bullet points, um, all sorts of parts of your business all the way down to the niche itself or the products that you create. With that said, let's jump on the computer and kind of get into it so I can show you how to do this. Specifically, we want to go inside of the Kindle store. So I'm here on amazon.com. I'm going to click the three little lines on the top left, and then I'm going to go down here to books and audible, and then I'm going to go into Kindle books. Now, when this loads, we're going to go specifically into the specific subcategories, right? I don't want to survey all of Kindle. I want the specific categories. I've got two examples we're going to follow through. The first one is crocheting. Whether you're going to teach people how to crochet, you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel on crocheting, you're going to put together a box of the month club of crochet items that you're going to send to crochet enthusiasts. Here's how to find out what they love and what they don't love so you can really understand what you need to build on. So when we're on the Kindle Books main page, you want to scroll down and on the left side, you'll see we start to get into all of the different categories. Now you can obviously use the search functionality to find it, but I like going down through the categories to find the most specific category listing. So now I went through crafts and hobbies. I'm going to click crafts and hobbies again to go one more sub level down. And from here, I'm going to go into the crocheting category. So now I'm sorting all of the Kindle books by crocheting. So I know I'm in the right place. This is, if this is a niche idea, or if you're already in the niche, you have an audience and you're looking for what your next product's going to be about. This is a great opportunity. So how do you do the niche research from here? Well, you want to go through all of the best selling books that are clearly focused on your niche. Sometimes people try to sneak in books that are non-relevant to certain categories so they can claim they were a bestseller, even though they weren't a bestseller in their niche. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and I'm going to click on the number of reviews and it's going to open that in a new tab. Now what I do is I want to go through the highest reviewed. I want lots and lots of reviews. So I skipped the one that has 23, although you might want to just grab it if you're totally focusing on the beginners. I'm opening up four tabs. You are going to want to do this with, I mean, I'm, I'm talking hours and hours of research is well worth your time. And you want to pull the actual words from the one star and the five star reviews. You want to ignore the people who think, eh, that's okay. You're looking for the pe people who have passion within their review. The one star means they were passionately frustrated with the product that they bought. It either didn't deliver on what they thought it was going to, or there was some problem with it, or there was something missing. And they felt that the fact that this one thing was missing made it worth going on and flaming them in a one star review. 
Great. These are the tidbits of information that you actually want to pull out. The five stars, the other side of the coin. These are the people who absolutely loved the product and you get to understand what they loved about the product. Now, pulling the actual language patterns, you're looking for repeating phrases and repeating terms that go throughout all of these different kind of reviews within your niche. Those are the types of phrases. Those can turn into your bullet points. They can turn into your headlines that can become, you can find your hook inside of here and ultimately the big idea for your big product that you're creating. So now I'm inside of these and what you can do is on the left, I've scrolled down or it took me automatically to where the reviews are when you click on the number. So I'm going to control click again on the five star. I'm holding control and I'm clicking on the one star. Now I opened two more tabs for this first book and I've opened the first tab is the five star reviews. And then the second tab is the one star reviews. So now I'm looking, there's 154 five star reviews. And what I want to do is look through these and I'm looking for the language patternings. What did people love? So this one said a one line instruction on how to set up your foundation and the actual stitch is explained in detail with step-by-step -step diagrams. That is a perfect bullet point, right? If you're creating an opt-in page that is going to give away a uh, stitches that are explained by diagrams, right? How to essentially it's a like how to crocheting. I'm definitely out of my league here. I'll be honest, um, but I didn't want to cherry pick. I want to do something totally new to show you how this works. So that right there is literally that's a bullet point. That's a sub headline right there. If your free offer is kind of what this is about, the patterns on how to crochet specific things. So then I'm going to search down and read through the other ones. Um, it's helpful to have each stick stitch broken down in this way. And the explanations of how one stitch relates to another is valuable. Bingo. So now, you know, when you're crafting an opt-in or a product, you need to make sure you're communicating how one stitch relates to the other stitch because that's what the users are finding interesting. Now, I'm obviously not going to go extremely deep into these. You want to really go pull out the highlights from each and every five star review on at least the top 10 to the top 20. Now, I'm going into the one star. So I just click to the other tab and we're looking at the one star. So the first one is don't buy the Kindle version. And that kind of makes sense, right? If this is a very visual thing, Kindles are not known for visual devices. So that is easy to scroll over. They don't hate the product itself. I just kind of think that um, you want to browse through here looking for anything that's going on. So this person said really hard to understand. I've been crocheting for years now and I've never had a problem reading a pattern, but this book is extremely hard. I tried a couple of stitches, but couldn't get it right. So nothing that was, that's all of the one star reviews here. So no real um, snippets from the one star reviews, but this is, this is the game of research, right? This is what we need to do in the world of research. So I'm going to make sure all these other tabs open. I'm going to look at the one stars specifically on the next ones that I've opened. This one has 5% one stars, which is more, which means we're going to get more. Now, one other thing you can see where it says read reviews that mention. This is a little tag cloud that Amazon is displaying and they're giving you the most common phrases used from within the comments. So this is kind of the quick brief overview of the most common phrases that are appearing. I don't think it's enough to go look through the tag cloud. I think it can be helpful when you see these patterns matching from one set of reviews to the next to the next. But ultimately, I do think you need to go through the one star and five star reviews. I'm going to skip the five star reviews on this one. And I'm going to go into the one star here to take a quick look. So wow, like this is when I say there's passion in the one star reviews, the top one says literally hate it. They literally hate this book. It's in British crochet terms, which are different than the US. Aha. Now, if you're putting out a product and your audience is clearly on one of these in one of these two countries, you need to make sure you're clarifying before the purchase, whether this is the UK style or the US style, because this customer bought, it was the other style and it really frustrated them enough to come flame them in a one star review. Um, you have to flip out all the sections of the books to different body parts. So the organization of the content was not good and the wording doesn't make any sense. First time they had a problem understanding the crochet pattern. So instructions are very hard to understand. Um, she couldn't understand the instructions, very disappointed. 
So this person said, I'm also very upset that I can't use the book to make my grandsons any of the things in it. Now you're getting the types of market research. When you're thinking about the customer avatar, who's crocheting, why are they crocheting, and who are they crocheting for? Grandma's not necessarily over there knitting beanies for herself. She's working on things for her grandson. And these types of insights are really extremely powerful. Um, Directions were okay. Animals were not very cute. This is the game, right? You want to literally just go through. And we're looking again for the most passionate reviews. The people, and when you're on the five-star reviews, the longer reviews are the really, really passionate ones. If somebody's willing to take time to write 300, 500, 700 words in a review, you know they passionately liked it and you want to understand exactly what they liked about it. So I'm going to go back to the Kindle eBooks area. And the next one I'm going to look at is Pilates, which is a subset of the health and weight loss and fitness space. It's another one that I know absolutely nothing about. And I'm pretty sure I've never done Pilates as an example before. And we're just going to go look into what is around in this niche. Now, if you're looking, trying to find your niche, um, one of the great ways to go about it is to make sure that your specific niche you're looking at targeting actually does have a specific subcategory in the Kindle space. If it's big enough to have a subcategory in the Kindle space and big enough to have its own magazine, that usually means that it's a perfect opportunity for you to create a niche website around. So now I'm in the Pilates kind of category, right? So there's 193 books inside of the Kindle store here under Pilates. This one has six five-star reviews. I'm gonna skip that. So I'm gonna click, control click and open the Pilates anatomy. And I wanna look for another one. You can see right here, this, um, the Daily 30, he's, this isn't about Pilates. He just chose to put his book in the Pilates category because he thinks he can get to the number one so he can call himself a number one bestseller. I don't think you're actually a bestseller when you do that. So uh, put your books in the right categories. This is the Women's Health Big Book of Pilates. I'm gonna control click on that. And then let's look for one more here. Um, if you're doing Pilates for men, obviously you wanna sort by specifically. I'm gonna look for Pilates Bodies in Motion. So let's open up each of these tabs real quick. So Amazon loads them for us. And I'm gonna control click on the five star and the one star. And we're just gonna go read in. I'm gonna take a quick understanding and a quick glimpse over what people want. This is a great example of a long review that this is somebody who really truly felt like they liked it so much they wanted to really share why they liked it you can see these shorter reviews it's usually a sign the longer reviews mean there's more passion so there's gonna be more snippets there's gonna be more ideas more catchphrases more bullet points and headlines hidden inside of the longer ones so you can see specifically you know when i took Pilates lessons, my instructor became a little annoyed by my constant questioning about which muscles were working. So you can understand that this person wanted a deep understanding. It annoyed their instructor, but this book gave them what they were looking for. If that's the kind of instruction you create, noting that you can give them the deep understanding of what muscles are being engaged and why it's working at a deep scientific cellular level, obviously that was a trigger for this individual, what they love about the book. But you wanna make sure that that phrase is repeated several times throughout the different reviews. I'm gonna glance over the one star here um, and pretty much don't open it on Samsung. So none of the one star reviews are really even saying that they didn't like anything about the content. It's much more in that situation about the, the functionality. This one's got 2% on the one stars. I'm gonna open that and then let's open this one here. So again, these none of the one star reviews in this situation are specifically about the content itself and this one has zero one star reviews so this is where it takes a lot of digging to ultimately get down into what specifically are people not satisfied with and you need to get that data you need to find out what people don't like about the other products because this is showing you the gaps in the marketplace and that's what you usually want to do when you're bringing a new opt-in to the table when you're bringing a new um what a new niche website or even a new product you want to fill a new gap or do things in a new way or introduce a new mechanism to the marketplace that the audiences haven't seen already right if you're just another me too marketer in the crowd you're never going to stand out how do you know how to stand out Go find the things that people are frustrated that they're not able to get from the other content creators, producers, and 
product creators in your space and go create that which is missing for them. So now I'm looking at the five star reviews. You can see a very long review here and it talks about exactly why they're at it. So for me, a total beginner at Pilates who's talking about parts of Pilates I don't understand, you can go get the actual kind of insights as to what works on this. Um, this person clearly says that they've used DVDs. They can't afford classes. Perfect. So that's why they went through the book and the DVDs didn't work, but the book did. So you can, if you're creating kind of DIY at home Pilates, knowing that this is an alternative to expensive classes, right? That's what I just got here is that some people, they want Pilates, they want the result of Pilates, they like Pilates, but they can't afford the 50, 60, $100 a day classes. So they're looking for alternatives. So if you can give them that experience through a digital on-demand video training system for Pilates, that's a great way to give them the experience, but keeping that price down at the nine, 17, $27 per month level. Um, and that's it. That is the game. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that here because I think it's clear that leveraging the passionate reviews, the good ones and the bad ones to understand what's working really well, what's not working, where the holes are within the marketplace, within the niche, within the specific products. This is how you really analyze a marketplace and do effective market research as a digital entrepreneur and as a digital marketer. It's so important. I want to reiterate this not to go create that thing, which you think your market is going to love. Uh, I've been, I've been guilty of this myself. My wife and I both have created products that we've spent a lot of time, sometimes months of our energy putting out these products and they totally flop because we didn't really understand before we started, whether the marketplace was going to actually want that, which we created. This is the free DIY way to do the market research, to understand what your audience loves, what they don't love. So you can craft a better product, a better opt-in offer. You can craft better headlines and better bullet points and better conversion mechanisms. And ultimately you can grow your business faster online. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here. If you have any questions about this process, this method, you can use the comments to ask me a question. I'm happy to answer when I have time and be sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, I got three videos a week coming out. That means I got two more videos coming out this week. And if you hit the bell on the subscribe to get notified when those new videos come out, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to connecting with you on the next video until I see you again. Be well.